making a journal entry. Acumatica is a web-based ERP system, so you can add information and perform daily business transactions from any place at any time, including making journal entries to the general ledger. Acumatica provides customized workflows to meet your specific needs, smart defaulting for efficient data entry, and a number of options to tailor Acumatica precisely for your business. In this video, I will demonstrate some of the features in Acumatica's Journal Transaction Entry screen. Acumatica controls entries to its general ledger with batch numbers. When I click the Batch Number Lookup magnifying glass, I see a list of all journal entries that have been entered into Acumatica. I can easily view any transaction by selecting it from the list. In this example, we are looking at a transaction that has been entered and placed on hold. To enter a new journal transaction, I click the Insert or Plus Sign button at the top of the screen. To save time, Acumatica automatically adds default information to several fields, such as the date of the transaction, the branch the transaction is being made for, the ledger to be posted, and the currency of the transaction. We have the option to make this transaction auto-reverse in the next fiscal period by checking this box. When this box is checked, a reversing entry is made to the following fiscal period, and the original batch number is filled in for the reversing entry, referencing the entry that created the reversing entry. In the Transaction Details section, I can enter the individual line items of the transaction with the appropriate account, sub-account, and reference number. Notice that most of the fields are assigned a default value in order to speed up the journal entry process. To add another transaction, I simply tab to the next line and begin the entry process. If I don't know the correct account number, I can click the search icon and find the appropriate account. To search for an account number, I can enter any sequence of digits or characters and the system will find all matches in the lookup window, regardless of where the information is located. When I complete my transaction, I press the Save button. Acumatica assigns a batch number and places my batch on hold based on a business rule established in the General Ledger Setup options. Once I remove the hold status, Acumatica verifies the batch and changes the status to Balanced. Depending on the configuration of the General Ledger system, a release transaction may be automatically posted to the General Ledger or held for later posting. This additional posting step provides for further verification and review of transactions before they are actually posted and committed to the General Ledger. This verification can be restricted to specific personnel before batches are posted to the general ledger. Once posted, I can see the batch by going to the Account Summary Inquiry screen and looking at the details of one of the accounts in my entry. To summarize, Acumatica delivers a web-based journal entry process, so multiple people can work from multiple locations while using the same business logic and resources. There are several options to define business rules and procedures allowing you to tailor the system according to the needs of your business. This video only illustrated a few features. Several others such as multi-currency features and customization features can be discovered by going to our website or viewing other videos.